So um, a couple of months ago, someone asked us if we could film the watermaker or, or just show a video or, or something with um, the watermaker working so they could get an idea of the uh, how loud it was. I think they've uh, got a similar one. And uh, so we've been meaning to do it for a couple of months. Sorry about that, but we've uh, honestly, it's really hard to get motivated to write anything, to do any videos or write anything on our Facebook page. Uh, you can probably see why. No, it's pretty nice out here at the moment. We're in, uh, we're actually, at the moment, we're anchored in Gilly Air, and uh, we'll probably hang out here for the next month or six weeks and uh, and just sail around and really check the area out. Anyway, here's the video, hope you enjoy it. So first thing we'll do is come inside and just give you a quick run through of the water maker, how it's set up. Um, you can see our water maker is mounted directly to the hull. Now, um, it definitely creates uh, more noise through mounting it that way. It was previously mounted with uh, rubber isolation mounts, but we found that it moved quite a bit and we didn't like it. And we've found also that the, the difference in, uh, you know, noise comparison between hard mounted and through the isolation mounts isn't, uh, isn't that big a difference. The main noise that it creates uh, is uh, when there's air in the system, it really creates a, a hydraulic sort of uh, thumping noise. Now, we'll probably be a little bit of air in the system today because we've just cleaned the, uh, we just changed the filter this morning. And so there's probably a little bit of air. You'll see when it's running, there'll be a little bit of air coming down the tube. But it's still, it's really, it's a reasonably uh, quiet system, especially compared to the high resolution ones that are out there, sea recovery and so on. Most of them have a really high resolution, uh, high pressure pump. This is very slow. It's like a train going up a hill. It's like chung chung. You'll see in a second. Now the ma maintenance you have to do with this one really is only lubricate this shaft in here. Um, it'll start squeaking every couple of months uh, and we just put a small bit of lubrication that we got with with the uh, with the unit on the shaft and that stops it we you can change the oil as well I think uh, every few years you need to change the oil and there's service kits you can get for them but you know this is five years old and we have not had to touch a thing it's still producing water at 250 or really 200 to 250 parts per million depends how long it's been running to uh, to the salinity of the water the longer it runs obviously the, the better quality of the water uh, if I run it for a couple of minutes and then test the salinity of the water it'll be around about 200 and 250 parts per million so uh, you can get seal kits and that sort of thing another thing is we have these reinforced hoses that go to the filter and then from the filter they go through to the high pressure pump now that's just um, really that's to stop you know the wall collapsing on the hose but we don't have to worry too much about that on this system because we've got it installed really this is the bottom of the boat right here and it's installed as low as we can get it without putting it on the floor of the boat and uh, and you can see here's our water line outside and um, and then you know here's our pre filter so everything is just below the water line and there shouldn't be a lot of suction you know, obviously there's a little restriction with the filter, but that's about it. Now I'll um, I'll go and turn the system on. You can see we're putting in a little bit of solar at the moment. We're putting in about four amps. Batteries are at 96% anyway, so we're not putting in a huge amount. It's fairly late in the in the day. Now I'll turn it on. Okay, and then you can hear the system running there. And you can see a little bit of aerated water and that'd still be just a little bit of air in the top of the filter housing and that'll just clear up over the next few minutes. And um, you can hear the slow action. Okay, so the water maker has been running for a, <clears throat> for a couple of minutes now. So we can do a salinity test. We'll just get our production water feed line here. We'll put it into a cup and we just let it fill probably oh, around about halfway up the cup, which doesn't take very long. And then we'll get our salinity meter and we'll just do a check. Uh, normally it's around, it depends how long the water maker's been running, but the salinity meter will be anywhere from around about 180 to 250 parts per million. Uh, as I said, it just really depends on how long it's been running for. 
and you can see there you go it's been running for a couple of minutes and this is around about 250 parts per million uh, after about a good five or ten minutes that'll drop right down to uh, you know around about the 200 mark stainless steel drinking tank which is we keep up here it's around about 18 litres we don't like drinking out of the epoxy tank so uh, we put all our drinking water directly from the water maker into that tank and uh, to use it we just fill it by turning that valve and then uh, the production water goes out the feed line there. So I um, hope you enjoyed that little short video of the water maker and how it works and um, tomorrow I'll show you how we boil a cup of tea. Ha, ha, ha.